everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel and I am a knitter and a sewist. Today is a bit of a mega, <laughs> mega haul because it's not like a haul haul. I've not gone out and bought all of this stuff. So I've got a couple of fabrics from work. I've got some fabrics that I bought. So in fact, I think yeah, two of the fabrics I bought um, quite a while ago, like last year, um, out of my stash. I've got things from the charity shop out. Yeah, uh, actually, yeah, I've got like most of this stuff is out of my stash. It's not new stuff um, because I thought it would be nice to do like a sort of fabric haul slash stash um, not everything in my stash, but I want to try and get through some stuff. Um, now that my knitting book has is not happening, you may have seen on my Instagram this week, I had the really sad news that my publisher had decided to discontinue the crafting book line, um, which means that my book that was in the works has basically been axed. Um, it's been pretty upsetting, <laughs> um, but yeah i don't want to talk about it too much i might do a knit and chat soon and talk about it a little bit more but for now i just need some space from it i've decided that i really want to work hard on knitting through some of my stash which i was planning to do this year until um i got offered the deal so i'm going to go back to that now so i've got a huge amount of yarn as well um to show you but it's um all sock yarns um because i'm really getting into knitting socks and again it's sitting in my stash so i kind of want to like work through it um so yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. Um, I will just sort of get going because as I say, there's quite a lot to get through. <laughs> oh, I should probably say this is a new make. This is, oh, I just threw some yarn on the floor. <laughs> Yeah, this is a new make. This is a new dress. This is a Tilly and the Buttons Lotta dress. I've made this in woven fabrics twice now for the summer with short sleeves. Absolutely loved it. Wore absolutely loads. Um, I wanted some more working from home dresses that were comfortable. So I thought I'd have a go at making the jersey version. So this is a leopard print jersey from uh, Textile Express. Um, it's, I've sort of like changed the pattern slightly and I think I changed it slightly too much because I basically wanted it to not like it classically sort of overlaps over the elastic waist I wanted it to not do that so I cut it shorter and I think I may have cut it slightly too short also I didn't expect the sleeves to be so big but then when I look at the pictures they are actually quite big I thought for some reason it was going to be like like that like clipped in um so I may take them in I don't know We'll see. I did think I could always put a little bit of elastic and make them like a sort of mini balloony sleeve. I don't know. It's not too bad, but they feel quite big. Um, but yes, it's really soft, gorgeous jersey, really comfortable. It's very, it's quite drapey. It's quite heavy, actually. Um, I don't know if you can see. It's quite like, whew, yeah, quite heavy. So it kind of, um, yeah pulls down quite a lot so i don't know if it would have been better for a t-shirt but anyway i've made this dress and i'm gonna wear it for working from home i quite like a leopard print especially a black and white leopard print i'm a big fan of vintage i love the 1950s 1960s when leopard print was quite popular um so yeah it's kind of giving me those vibes but in a more casual way um anyway let's get on to the fabric so it's all kind of muddled up is it yes it is so <laughs> some of this stuff as i say is stash some of this stuff is uh new some of this stuff is stuff i've got for work because i sew for uh my job because i, I make things out of the fabric so people can see you know what they're going to look like and i make reels and stuff so anyway um let's start off with these two because they kind of go together so the beady eyed amongst you will probably realize that these are blankets <laughs> these are not fabric these are old blankets so i treated myself me and my husband to a gorgeous new wool blanket in the january sale from the tartan blanket company i've been wanting to buy for them from ages they make blankets um sustainably and ethically and they do a range of blankets which are made from recycled wool so i bought one of those in the sale and it's super cozy so i could get rid of our kind of like cheap skanky blankets that we'd had 
for like ages and ages and ages and I was trying to think what to do with them because normally I'd just give them to the dogs but the dogs have had so many blankets now that kind of felt a bit unnecessary um so I thought I could have a go at making them into some fleeces for walking the dogs just like cozy jumpers um I saw Brogan made the Arlo jacket from Friday Pattern Company is it Friday Pattern Company I think it is um and it looked fantastic and I thought oh I need one of those it's like high neck zip etc perfect for walking the dog this time of year I mean it's still not warm enough not to wear a coat but it will be hopefully um in another few weeks maybe a month <laughs> um so yeah make some cozy fleeces with pockets very important when you walk dogs um and i sort of looked like measured out this fabric and looked at the pattern and there wasn't enough of one color and actually the pattern there's an option to do like two-tone so i thought i would do the cream and the pink together could be super cute um so yeah i'm gonna have a go at that at some point um i'm slightly worried about like how it's going to go through my machine and how it's going to sort of cope because obviously it's going to be like loads and loads and loads of bits so yeah we'll see um but that's what i'm thinking with this i may not get round to doing this before it gets too warm we'll see um because obviously like this is spring make i'm into like spring makes now it's the end of february so we'll see i need to kind of make them quite soon really so i should probably order the pattern and get on with it they probably won't take very long once i get started so anyway those are those two fabrics okay so this one i think i've shown before but absolutely ages ago this is out of my stash this is a pair of curtains so i have two that i bought from the charity shop from one, one of the charity shops around by me um i think they are it's like a gorgeous print um and really quite nice fabric i gave them a wash and i've um like taken all the seams and stuff off them taken all the curtainy bits off them <laughs> um and so i'm left with this like it's basically a bit kind of canvasy fabric um in yeah this lovely print now i can't decide what to do i can't decide whether to just make myself a pretty dress because obviously that would look lovely in a nice dress it'd be very vintage very sort of like 50s style um a bit maybe a bit laura ashley actually so 70s as well um and sort of talking about 70s my other option is to make the um is it the blanca the Blanca flight suit so basically like a traditional jumpsuit with a zip and a tie I feel like this could look quite cool and I don't have anything like that in my wardrobe and I feel like with trainers and stuff that could be really fun um but obviously that's going to be quite a lot of work um but shouldn't shy away from challenging myself sewing <laughs> i think i'm quite tired at the moment so i like keep making really easy makes obviously i've been sewing with jersey a lot recently if you follow my instagram you will have seen i've been sewing with jersey a lot recently and jersey sews up so fast um so yeah like going back to woven fabrics is going to be weird um, but yeah um i think this will make a really cute dress or jumpsuit whichever one i decide there's also the oh i can't remember what it's called but basically sew over it do a jumpsuit as well like a traditional it's like button up elasticated waist i looked at theirs as well so that's another option but i think i like the blanca flight suit which is it closet core patterns i can't remember who does it i will put all the links below for you of everything that i've mentioned but yeah let me know what you think whether i should make a dress or whether i should make a jumpsuit i think the jumpsuit would be pretty cool it's obviously quite a lot of pattern to have all over my body but then i feel like it's quite funky yeah it'd be quite fun for spring so there's that so my next fabric again you have seen this before it's out of my stash i bought this last year from uh new craft house quite a while ago actually now i think it was the summer they did a remnant sale um which was really great their remnant sales are always really good if you don't know new craft house sell um designer dead stock fabric so it's all super super high quality it's often quite expensive obviously because of the quality so i often look for things like remnant sales or sample sales or whatever they've got and this was three meters half price so it should have been 50 quid and it was only 25 which feels really good for 100 percent wool it's a lovely ivory and black 
tweedy checky fabric it's just gorgeous um again it's february i need to sort of get a wriggle on with this but i was thinking of making a um like short sleeved um shift dress with um welt pockets with like a flap on the front like they won't even be real pockets they'll just be fake it'll just be so they look nice with like some little pearl buttons on them um i've seen some gorgeous dresses which are like button up the front with pearl buttons but i think i'll just make a straight up shift i want to make the sew over ultimate shift dress again i don't think that's going to be that difficult to make i also don't think it's going to take three meters but whatever i'll cut it out as carefully as i can and then see how much is left and see if i can make something like a skirt or something um out of it but yeah i think that would be super cute with tights and boots and i can wear it as i say like early spring would still be fine probably like fine into april as well um sometimes it gets really hot here in april and then sometimes it's really cold because it's my birthday in the middle of april like literally the middle it's the 15th so i always find that um sometimes like we've had we've been swimming in the river and had picnics by the river on my birthday in oxford and then on other years we've been like freezing to death <laughs> because during the second year of covid so 2021 so 2020 we were obviously in full lockdown and that was gorgeously hot on my birthday and i remember we were sat outside having a picnic in the garden um that my husband made which was lovely and then the year after they opened the pubs outside like a week before my birthday or like a few days before my birthday so we booked a table and we were sat outside and it was about 15 degrees and it was freezing and I'd like worn a really nice outfit because I barely left the house for like 18 months because of covid and um I was really cold <laughs> I had to get a blanket and stuff in the end and they had like hot water bottles and stuff because it was really chilly and then last year i can't actually remember what i did for my birthday i can't remember the weather anyway what i'm trying to say is who knows what april will be like so we will see um again i'll make this up and then i don't know how much wear i'll get out of it this year but it will be lovely for autumn so yeah we'll see okay so next fabric is a new fabric Woohoo! it's pink <laughs> um so this is a fabric that i bought from rainbow kilburn fabrics they're a dead stock fabric stockist they do like drops they go to like turkey or whatever and i think it's mostly just turkey and they go to the uh garment district and they go to the factories and they basically buy up all the things that are left um and then bring them back for us which is great so this is a viscose and it is covered in strawberries this was 100 percent influenced by brogan from the crafty pie um she bought this and i saw it and i fell in love with it <laughs> um so i thought i'd get myself some it is very bright i don't normally wear bright bright pink but i just love it with the strawberries on the red and the pink i think it's really cute um i thought i would make myself a dress for my birthday um so as i said my birthday is in april so it's almost strawberry season so i feel like it'd be kind of cute to make something um i'm thinking of making a maxi dress with like lots of tears very sort of boho style i'd quite like it if it's like button up and then big flowy sleeves i've seen a few patterns that i quite like that might work for it um but i need to do a bit more research into yeah like which one like which one's going to work best but yeah it's a lovely drapey viscose um you can see oh i'll show you oh it's got a lovely drape to it it's quite bright sorry it's the window just there is like bright white because of the clouds but uh, yeah so it's a really gorgeous drapey fabric um it's a bit better <laughs> so yeah very happy with that um and will definitely make myself something nice nice long maxi dress as i say i'm probably gonna make long sleeves but i have a long sleeved maxi dress already that is made from a really nice lightweight fabric that i bought from fat face years ago and i wear that all the time in the spring and summer because you know we're in england so it's not always warm enough to have your arms out so um especially like that fabric's quite lightweight so as i say floor length arm length i'm also as well like we're thinking we might go on holiday um in november to dubai we're not sure yet we need to have a little think about it um we need to like decide whether or not we can leave rodders podders the puppy <laughs> um he won't be a puppy by then he'll be like 
um 18 months old but <laughs> um anyway so having something that's like long 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 could be quite nice um i always find that like when it's really hot i don't want to be like everything showing um i actually find that worse um i think it's just from like when i spent time in india um i got into the habit of when it was hot you wear like really really thin cool fabrics that completely cover everything up um so like long sleeved right like long like trousers i used to wear like salwar kameez and stuff a lot when i was there um because <laughs> it's so hot um and actually that's cooler it's really nice um weirdly it sounds odd but actually yeah it's cooler to have everything covered um because the sun's not on you and you're not like sticky and yeah anyway <laughs> so i quite like long sleeves long dress for the um summertime okay so my next fabric um you may have seen on my instagram it is from hey so sister oh sorry that has just gone really bright right now the sky is like blinding my face oh <laughs> that's so bright <laughs> hopefully that's not going to be too blown out for you um this is a fabric from hey so sister um it is a jersey sweatshirting fabric um it's got cute little safety pins on it it's all cute um so that i am planning to use to make another billy so you may have seen my billy on instagram and um, it was in my last video as well um that's just the dogs coming to say hi oh don't stand on my fabric pal no 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 oh i went to kiss her and she sort of sneezed on me nice might be able to see that it's a little little nose oh and here comes another one <laughs> oh he's gonna knock over the iron guys i'm filming oh no don't stand on the fabric go on out you go okay so anyway dogs um the dogs are here they're just gonna hang out so safety pin fabric i'm gonna make another billy you may have seen the billy that i made um it was in my last video and it's been on my instagram i made the billy dress from tilly and the buttons with the huge balloon sleeves and pockets in a like lovely sort of dusty pink color um which i love i wear it a lot it's really really nice um it's the first time i've ever sewn with stretch fabrics making that and i learned a lot um since then i have switched to using the gutterman mariflex thread because i don't have an overlocker and that works so much better so i have got myself some more jersey to make another one i'm just gonna make no pockets plain sleeves i just want a really cozy throw it on jumper dress yeah i said this in my like year plan video it was like creating basically work from home clothes like this that are comfortable made of jersey that make me still feel like i've dressed nicely and that i actually look like a nice person um not just like a skank in her pajamas <laughs> um like secret pajamas um this is like a nighty <laughs> um and so yeah i'm gonna make another jumper dress out of this got safety pins on which is super cute because then it's like because i sew and i know and you use safety pins for both of those so i thought that was really nice it's really good quality as is everything that comes from georgie's shop who owns hey so sister um so yeah that is some jersey um i'm gonna run that up this uh this week really quickly because um again as i say like i want to get it done um so that i can wear it um i also think that there's actually gonna be i think there's going to be a bunch left over as well because there's quite a lot here and when i cut my last billy as well i was quite surprised because I, it i'm pretty sure it says on the packet maybe i should check this i'm pretty sure it says you need um three meters for the size that i'm making and i guess that includes like all the cuffs and everything and if you're doing the big sleeves but i had yeah i've had you'll see like my next fabric i've had a lot left over so um yeah i'll probably just run up some billy jumpers um because it's quite nice as well just to have jumpers not always jumper dresses because i do wear a lot at home because i walk in the dogs and stuff like leggings and wellies and like a jumper so i might run up a few jumpers because that's quite nice um which leads me nicely onto my next fabric which is left over from my other billy which is this gorgeous sweat it's so soft this lovely sweatshirting and i have the ribbing left as well um and i can't decide i'm not sure there's enough to make another billy i'll have a look um i might be able to make a billy with like three quarter length sleeves so that is an option 
or I'd quite like to see if I could fit some joggers out of it but that would be a real squeeze so I need to kind of like get the pattern pieces out lay the fabric out and sort of play around and see like if I can fit that in in some way um but yeah I really want to use this up as I say this is now sort of my goal as much as possible is to try and get through my stash so I say this but I'm actually going to a yarn festival I'm going to unravel fest at the end of February which means um I will probably buy more yarn I think what I need to try and do at Unravel Fest is buy yarns for summer season because um, I have got so much yarn to get through. Like, and I've got things that I know I could make with all of this stuff, but like spring makes, I just don't need any more spring sewing or spring knitting. <laughs> so um, yeah, my goal is to get through the stash as much as possible, which is why I'm like, you know, trying to get through my remnants as well when there's enough, you know, remnants to make something that's always so great. I don't have a huge amount of storage. I also don't think it is great to have like huge amounts of fabric. Like for me personally, that's just, I, I just feel like it's too much consumption and I'm not a fan of, of that. I, do, I don't want to just keep like buying things for the sake of things. There are definitely things that I've bought and I've not got round to making in the right season. So I leave them for the next time. So I've got like, I bought some lovely um, autumn -y stuff in November at a craft show and I just didn't get round to making it and it feels very autumnal so I will probably make those up in like August September time um and so that might happen to some of these as well as that they're very spring and that they'll um end up being made next year um but yeah I'm trying to just like be careful about how much I'm buying um because as I say I go to Unravel Fest at the end of February but I also go to the Stitch Festival I was very lucky to get press tickets as a blogger to go to the Stitch Festival at the end of March which is really really exciting um but again I need to be a bit careful um I think I'm gonna try and be seasons ahead because that helps a lot so i'm sort of not buying any more fabric now for spring at all no more yarn for spring at all because i am full anyway that was a complete tangent <laughs> basically what i'm trying to say is i want to use this up <laughs> and not buy more stuff until i have that's <laughs> what i'm trying to say um I think also it doesn't help because I, I work in a haberdashery, the Cotswold Sewing Centres, there's two shops and we have a big online shop as well and that's growing and growing and growing so make sure you check us out. I will tag these products that I'm about to show you um, but these are the same thing where um, I get to take fabric home and make stuff up as they say so that we can show people what it looks like made up and um, you know create reels and things like that. So um, yeah I, I do have a lot of fabric at the moment. For me anyway um so this is um i've literally just washed this and then like i am the world's worst fabric folder so apologies for this this is such a mess but this is from work this is from the cotswold sewing centers it is a beautiful cotton jersey with this lovely leaf print it is a um sagey greeny color minty greeny color um i think it's probably more mint green or is it more I don't know anyway I don't know my greens <laughs> um I have got four meters of that which is obviously quite a lot because I would like to make the Juno pajamas I made a short set version of those for Valentine's which was for work as well using lovely work jersey which um I will do a makes video soon and show those I say soon we'll see anyway um yeah so I have plans to make myself a lovely set of long pajamas um because i don't have any i sleep in shorts um shorts and t-shirt because um i get quite hot um so i don't like to wear long pajamas i used to before i was married i used to wear um long pajamas long sleeves long legs the whole shebang um, and then i got married and started um sharing this is very personal started sharing a bed <laughs> there we go um, with another person and it is hot so I don't wear long pajamas anymore but I do love it you know 
Friday night or a Sunday night or whatever, Saturday morning, you want to have some brunch. I don't want to come down in shorts and t-shirt because I'm freezing. So I want to put on some like cozy pajamas. So these are like, yeah, cozy pajamas. Or if I'm going, you know, away um, or we're staying with friends or something. And again, I go upstairs to put my pajamas on after dinner to watch a movie or whatever. Um, I want like a full long set. So that's what I thought I'd do with these. I haven't bought like any cuffs or anything. I'm just gonna double the fabric over and cuff it. Um, Cause I think that works just as well. I shall be sewing with the Maraflex thread, which we're also selling at the Cotswold Sewing Centre. So check that out. I think we've got something like 40 different colors, which is pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'll be sewing with that on my normal Janome machine. Um, so yeah, those will be super cozy. And lovely and I'll probably still wear those quite a bit um, because basically until the summer it's not really warm enough I find like when I'm just hanging about the house and chilling and relaxing I get so cold if I'm not wearing long sleeves <laughs> I'm like a, I, I do have fibromyalgia which I think is partly it because I have like nerves um, lots of nerve pain and sensitive nerves and stuff but yeah I get really chilly um, so yes that is the plan with this lovely fabric Okay, we have made it to the final fabric. <laughs> I'm just gonna have a drink. Oh, it's a lot of fabric to get through. <laughs> um, so again, this is a fabric from work. I'm making something for work. Um, double gauze is the thing, isn't it guys? So, I mean, I don't know, I, I only found this out recently. Apparently double gauze is the thing. It's basically like cheesecloth from the 70s uh maybe it even is maybe i should google what cheesecloth actually is because i just know it is cheesecloth it could have been double gauze um the 70s has been back for a while now hasn't it like 70s fashion is big and um funnily enough that's kind of like filtered through into fabrics I and mean, we've been seeing like orange and brown print corduroys and things like that a lot um but now like yeah the double gauze um so i picked this up we've got this in five colors at work um and uh i just think it's lovely it's so like weight again for a hot holiday this is just perfect it's so breezy it reminds me a lot of the fabrics i used to wear when i was in india just like flowy gorgeous loveliness um <laughs> so yeah this is probably a bit soon really um this is probably more of a summer fabric but i'm going to be sewing it up soon anyway because um you know a lot of people like go on holiday and stuff um so we want to share it a bit as i say it comes in in five different colors i got this lovely burnt orange color it's like brick it's like the color of brick you know um that's often what they're called um like sort of terra terracotta -y color um but it also comes in beige mustard like pale olive and uh pink so yeah i almost got um like pink or pale olive or something so that it was a bit more springy but i just thought this would be lovely for summer i quite like orange and i suit orange with my hair so yeah i want to make a i think i want to make a jumpsuit out of this i'm not sure yet though i haven't made a choice a decision yet i either want to make a jumpsuit or i do have the sew over it summer dreaming ebook which i haven't even like tapped into yet and there's a lovely wrap dress in there which i thought might work really really well actually for this fabric like a floor length version and it would just be it's like got these big wide sleeves that like sort of go down to there and it just yeah ties it's super chill could be lovely just like throw sandals on and that's your little you know maxi dress i love a maxi dress in the summer okay this is now probably going to end up being too dark <laughs> hopefully that's okay i have got my light on and everything um but yeah the sky is just getting so bright you can barely see my face um anyway what was i wittering on about <laughs> Um, I was thinking about making a play suit with this or the dress I think was what I was basically saying um I don't I think yeah nothing more interesting to say about that <laughs> um but yeah lovely double gauze has anybody else got some double gauze let me know in the comments below um as I say it seems to be the new thing so who else is into it okay that is all of the fabric a lot of fabric I need a drink And now we're on to yarns. Now, you will have seen in a previous knit and chat, I was working on um, a jumper. I'm still working on the jumper. I kind of put it to one side once I got the news about my book because it felt just a little bit painful. But I will be releasing the pattern for it at some point, probably 
next year not next year i keep i always think of like september as next year this is the first time i've not been like in academia for 20 years longer than that i'm old 24 years it's weird to not be working on an academic year so when i say next year um i mean september <laughs> um so yes i will release that pattern probably because it's it's a colder colder pattern so um it doesn't make much sense to release it before then but i will be looking for uh testers so keep an eye out i've got two sweaters that i want to release this year um so keep an eye out if you would like to test for me um so yeah i'm still working on that sweater i only like to work on two projects at a time i don't ever go above two projects because i find that really stressful um but I do like the option to like put one down and pick another one up. At the moment, I've always got a garment on the go, like a sweater or a cardigan and um, socks. And I often do like whatever, I'll knit up the body and then I'll knit a sock and then I'll knit up the sleeves and then I will knit the other sock. And it just kind of breaks it up for me. So I have been slowly collecting sock yarns over because last year I decided I wanted to learn to make socks and I just didn't really get around to it I made my first pair of socks in December so I was like collecting sock yarns throughout the year <laughs> and not actually doing anything with them so I have got quite a few here so let's kick off with um this is Knitter's Cottage which is absolutely gorgeous um now the exciting thing about this oh can you see it is it gonna focus there we go so this is from sheep literally next to my house this is the most exciting thing so they sell this in um my local yarn store in chipping norton and the sheep are farmed at a farm literally next to my village which is so exciting um so it's 100 percent romney lamb's wool um and it is spun in a small indie mill in the southwest it's four ply obviously because it's for socks um so yeah it's gorgeously soft it's so lovely now um vicky who runs knitter's cottage who uh, will be appearing on the channel soon ish um she does different weights she does a dk and a chunky as well it's all undyed just gorgeous gorgeous yarn so i am so excited to make these now i was going to use this to make up a pair of socks um like my own pattern which i might still do um because i had an idea and it would be quite nice to have a go at that um so yeah i, I might i might do that or i might just pick somebody else's pattern um hang on a minute it's just the dogs just the dogs living their doggy life um rodney has hit adolescence uh recently which if you've ever had a puppy you will know adolescence they hit around like eight to twelve months and uh basically their brains go foggy they forget all their training uh they've got hormones pumping through their bodies it's like puberty it is a nightmare an actual nightmare the dog doesn't remember anything that I have taught him for the last three months. I can hear him being naughty. Rodney, what are you doing? Sorry about that. Yeah, he doesn't remember anything. Um, he's also super confident now because he came to us as a rescue and we worked really hard in getting his confidence up. Um, congratulations. He's now too confident. <laughs> so that's just great so he just runs away from me on walks he sees another dog oh he's gone he's gone and i can't call him back can't get him back at all um it's so embarrassing everyone's looking at me like i'm the worst dog owner in the world um he can't even remember like how to do down anymore like it's an absolute nightmare guys um i put this on my stories a few weeks ago and i got lots and lots and lots of lovely messages from people saying it gets better don't worry same thing happened to my puppy so i know it's going to get better but oh my goodness nightmare sorry again that's a huge tangent <laughs> um but yeah if you hear any noise dogs so that is my knitter's cottage yarn so that's going to be lovely cozy cozy socks um so there's that next up i've got this which is from bath which is hand dyed in bath by the bath dyer i want to call her the wool bath dyer i will tag her below i don't think she actually has a website i think she's just simply stocked in wool bath 
um, and I bought this last year when I visited Woolbath in January for my anniversary. Um, again, I had planned to knit up socks and I just never got around to it. But basically it's a lovely like pastel purpley colour with sort of bits of cream and yellow in it. And I really liked it because it really reminds me of like crocuses. So right now we've got yellow, white and purple crocuses um, coming out of the flower bed um, in our garden. And this is what they look like. It's this like lovely colour and they just sort of, it's like variegated tones. And I just thought that would be lovely um, for some socks. So I think it's like 100% wool as well. Um, so yeah, again, I think because it's... Um, I've been knitting a lot of just simple like stocking net stitch socks. Um, I'm on my third pair at the moment so I think I might delve into something a bit more interesting with some of these guys um, because yeah it would be nice to try some different techniques, some like lace work or something like that, pico edge, that kind of thing. Um, because you know when it's more of a sort of flat colour it's not like a self striping yarn it's quite nice to do something like that. So there's that one. This one um, I bought ages ago, September 2021. I think this was my first sock yarn and I bought it thinking I was gonna make some socks. And um, then I decided I'd go for self-striping yarn and I bought some self-striping yarn and I made those instead. Um, but yeah, I really love this. It's alpaca, it's Rico, can't remember what it's called, but Rico four ply alpaca -y sock yarn um really soft really gorgeous i think this would make a really nice pair of ribbed socks so i think that's what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make a very simple pair of ribbed socks um i'm tempted to make long ones because i'm always cold and i'm like i wonder if i could like because i've been knitting socks on 2.5 millimeter needles and um in stocking net and stuff and um i always have so much yarn left over almost the same again it's normally about like 40 or 45 grams so it's enough to make like another pair of socks if i wanted to so i keep thinking i might make some longer socks some like knee-high socks that will be super cozy so i might do that with this like kind of chill out bed socks watching tv kind of cozy cozy socks um so that is that one. Oh, is that any better i feel like i look really really pale um in the light but there is like spotlights as well in here so yeah, sorry guys, I hope the lighting isn't too bad in this video and you can see things. Um, okay, so on to this one, which is Adventures in Yarn Craft. So I bought this last year, I think in November. So the lady who runs Adventures in Yarn Craft, very sadly, her wheelchair was stolen from outside of her house, um, which is heartbreaking. As somebody with mobility issues, um, I mean, I just can't believe anybody would, would do that. To somebody to be honest um it is how you live your life you can't live your life if you don't have your mobility aid um yeah <laughs> so just baffling to me that somebody would think that that's okay to do um so she asked people if they would um support her if they would you know buy lots of her stock that she already had so that she could afford to buy herself a new wheelchair um, and I think she put like a 20% off on her website to try and encourage it so I thought I would buy something um, to support so I bought this gorgeous gorgeous sock yarn it's a beautiful sage green it's called dried sage there you go you can see it's just focused it's slightly variegated it's got some like specks of navy in it um, so yeah again I'm gonna make I think I'm just gonna make socks um, because it is a sock yarn um, I was tempted to try and make like a scarf or something because it's just so beautiful um, but I think I'll just make some socks with it. I think as I say like I found that every time I make socks I end up with so much left over so often I'll, I'm, I think now I'm going to be able to start pairing things up as like heels and toes and, and doing different colours and stuff. Um, so I did think there might be enough to make a scarf or something. We'll see. I might make a scarf. We'll see. I think I'm probably more likely just to knock up some socks. Um, so yes, lovely spring colour though. Um, okay, and now we are on to the last one. So now I... <laughs> I know that there's going to be so much left over from these because um, you can only buy them in 100 grams at a time. So this is Stylecraft 
four ply um, yarn, which is just 100% acrylic. The reason I bought this is they are a present for my mother. My mother is allergic to wool. At Christmas, when I knitted up some socks, some Christmas socks while she was there, she was like, oh, um, can you make socks out of something that isn't wool? And I was like, yes, of course you can. Um, and she's like, oh, that's interesting. And I was like, okay, so that's a hint that you would like some handmade socks. Um, so I thought I would knit her up some socks for Mother's Day. Now, my mother is obsessed with sheep. I'm going to get the pattern to show you um, what I'm going to make. It's from Charming Colour Work Socks um, by... Uh, Charlotte Stone which I bought in January yeah my mother is obsessed with sheep it's not normal it's not healthy there are sheep everywhere in our house like not real ones <laughs> like ornaments and pictures she has a sheep addiction um so I thought I would make these because they're so cute I saw these on Charlotte's Instagram and I just thought those are absolutely perfect for my mum now her favorite sheeps are herdwick sheeps which if you don't know are a sheep um native to the uk that are uh, from the lake district area the national park the lake district they're traditional sheep used there they have extremely rough wool it tended to be used for things like rope um and like insulation now and stuff like that but yeah she really loves the herdies and they have gray um bodies gray wool and then white faces and white feet so um, I'm going to do a blue background with a cream toe and cuff and I'm going to do grey sheep bodies with white faces and white feet um, because I think that's going to be super cute. But as I say there is going to be so much yarn left over um, because I mean you barely use I barely use one 100 grams for a pair of socks so yeah i'm probably gonna make myself um or make other people maybe like stripy socks or something like that my husband's been asking for some socks so i could always like use the leftovers and stuff but um yeah that's my plan is try and get through my stash as much as possible as i say i'm going to unravel first try not to buy too much i mean it'll be really expensive at unravel fest because it'll be all like gorgeous gorgeous lovely high quality yarns that are hand dyed and hand sheared and hand reared and all these wonderful things in the uk so i'm probably not going to be like spending huge amounts of money anyway um but we'll see you know what i'm like um so that is everything that is probably a really long video now because i went off on loads of tangents <laughs> but i hope you enjoyed watching um apologies for the lighting oh yeah i can't seem to get this lighting okay now i look blue we're gonna give up on the lighting for today um so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed let me know what your plans are for spring what you're planning to make i love to hear what everybody's up to um also any like recommendations for patterns and stuff um always love that as well um so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video um the next video coming out is going to be probably an inside the craft room although it may be a vlog from unravel fest we'll see um so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on that give this video a like if you enjoyed it um and i will see you next time guys thanks for watching bye